Welcome, my friends and parishioners, to our 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time Reflection on Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 24 to 43. And the theme is Good and Evil in Our World. It is good to be back after a break from last weekend's election holiday. In case you do not recognize me by my new shaven look, I'm still the same person. Some say I look 30 years younger. In reality, many of us seem to have certain perceptions and strong views about things like whether we grow a beard or not, or even stronger views about politics these days. What is true is that while we may have different and varied opinions about these things, we can agree to the common view that good and evil exists in our world. In our Gospel today, Jesus describes the Kingdom of God to us as a parable about good seeds and bad seeds. The good seeds sown by God will of course produce good fruits, while the bad seeds sown by the enemy will produce bad fruits. And we know that good and evil is inside and outside of us, and that we try our best to get rid of them as far as possible. And sometimes it's like the lalangs that we see in our gardens these days. Have you noticed how they thrive? in the neglected areas along roads and places not attended to by grass cutters because of the lockdown. Unfortunately for those of us who are avid gardeners, we know very well that having lalangs in our garden is bad news. We have many of them especially in the land next to our church. They can be a real nuisance because the roots are deeply embedded and it's tough to dig them and get rid of them as I've recently discovered. It can be back-breaking and it can be also requiring us to be patient to get rid of them. And worst of all is that their roots spread easily. And to get rid of them, we sometimes run the risk of pulling out the good plants as well. Sometimes we may have to leave them alone. And the kingdom of God is like the church, where there is a mix of good and evil, of light and darkness, of saints and sinners to be found there as well. Certainly, my dear friends, we are called to combat evil and continue to do good and never allow good to triumph or to take root in us. Jesus asks all of us to be patient, to persevere, and to be prudent in dealing with them, for God will have the final say. Can you ever recall having done a good deed and having to pay a price where people faulted you? For indeed, it is better to do good and suffer than to do evil, as the Peter will tell us. So I have two questions for reflection. The first one is, how is one area of my life that I need to do more weeding, like getting rid of bad habits? And the second question is this, what good seeds of faith, kindness, and goodness have I planted recently? So let us now join us to pray in Mother's Mary prayer of protection. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, help of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm, you salvation of the Roman people and of the whole world, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. And under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain our entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. So thank you for being with us and God bless you and keep you safe. Amen.